Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you a very interesting project called as OASIS. OASIS stands for Open Agent Social Interaction Simulations. OASIS is a project which is not only scalable but open source and it acts as a social media simulator designed to mimic the behavior of up to 1 million users or agents on platforms like Twitter and Reddit. OSS integrates large language models with rule-based agents to create realistic simulations of user interactions on social media. The project aims to facilitate the study of complex social phenomena such as information spread, group polarization, and herd behavior, providing a versatile tool for exploring diverse social dynamics and user interactions in digital environments. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. Before that, let's have a bit more discussion around its architecture because the project seems quite promising in my opinion. If you go through its paper, it gives you um, the really vibe of scalability because this simula simulator, as you can see on your screen, can model up to 1 million agents that allows researchers to study social media dynamics at a scale equivalent to real-world platforms. This project also adapts to real-time changes in social networks and content offering authentic simulation experiences that reflect the fluid dynamics of platforms like Twitter and Reddit. These agents in OSS can perform 21 different actions such as following, commenting and reposting that facilitates rich and multifaceted interactions. It also includes interest-based and hot score-based recommendation algorithms to simulate how users discover content and interact on social media platforms. The project also includes a comprehensive user generation method and a multi-processing technique to handle large-scale simulation if efficiently. And if you look at this workflow, this gives you a bit more idea. OSS is built upon the structure of traditional social media platforms and consists of five key components environment server rex sys agent module time engine and scalable inferencer which you can see on your screen there are two phases there is a registration phase and then we have a simulation phase during the registration phase real world or generated user information will be registered on environment server in the simulation phase the environment server sends agent information, post, and users' relations to the Rexis, which then suggests posts to agents based on their social connections, interest, or hot score of posts. LLM agents then receive the recommended posts and generate actions and rationales based on the content. These actions ultimately update the state of the environment in real time. The time engine manages the agent temporal behavior while the scalable inference handles large scale inference requests from the user. Chain of thought and reasoning is already incorporated, enabling the agent to generate reasoning alongside its actions. So let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. I am going to use this my Ubuntu system and first up I am just going to create a virtual environment with Conda. And I'm going to go with Python 3.10. So let's wait for it to get created. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to our very good friends at iGenPot who are sponsoring this video. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in videos description okay let's go back and check what is happening so our conda environment is created next up we need to git clone the repo of oasis it is a project of camel ai by the way which we already have discussed on the channel a lot and i'm also going to drop the link to this oasis in videos description so let's wait for this repo to get cloned and that is done next up we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo let me paste the correct command here i'm just going to use a 
pyproject.toml file from the root of the repo and all you need to do is to run this command pip and this is going to take a minute or so all the prerequisites are done next up we need to set our api key so i'm just going to set this open is api key here you can also grab your api key if you're following along from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option so let me set my key and clear the screen and we are all set to run the simulation on twitter or reddit with this oasis and in order to run it with reddit all you need to do is to run this command where we are uh, running this simulation with reddit with a bypassing get the configuration in yaml file before i run it let me quickly show you the code how it is working it is present on their repo and you can see that they have shared it quite generously under apache 2 license so if you quickly go through this code which you are um, looking at your screen this uh, is a python script which is designed to simulate social media interaction on platforms like reddit using the oasis framework first up we are just importing the uh, libraries and modules as you can see here and then there is also some oasis one the custom one logging is configured and then we are also using an argument parser and then we are checking out all the directory and file paths and then if you scroll down there is this main function where um, all the paths are being included and this is executing and setting up the simulation so you see we, here we are initializing and configuring the environment it is including uh, which includes creating a clock for time management setting up communication channel and initializing the platform infrastructure and then these agents are using functions from the oasis package agents can perform actions such as posting and interacting with content and then from there there is a simulation loop which is running and this loop iterates over a set number of time steps for each time step the agent performs action based on predefined pairs of actions and responses logging confirmation is also there and then the simulation dynamically updates recommendation data and agents behavior it also is adjusting the simulation clock factor based on the real time execution duration of the first timestamp that allows the simulation to have more uh, accurate reflection of the intended time flow and that there's a lot of looping where these agents are running as i mentioned earlier so that's pretty much it it's not that uh, a hard code and that is the beauty of os is that if you um, know even high level of python you can easily build these sort of simulations and then this is a yaml file where they have set up some of the config where you can set some of the probabilities of the agents how many posts for example each user is going to post recommendation and then some of the controllable uh, parameters where number of posts an agent can see each time they refresh and so on and so forth you can increase or decrease it as per your choice but remember the more you increase it the more apa cost will be there so that is a code let's go back to our terminal and then run this command here and this is primarily is going to run this simulation so it is getting the tokenizer the first time when you run it so let's wait for it and there you go it is similar you see there is a simulation users are posting others are commenting i know the uh, it is a bit of a text but if you closely look you will see that as the clock is running different agents are running you can check them out with their agent numbers and these agents are interacting with each other talking with each other commenting even their names are there and this is all data which is being generated by the api and there you go so simulation finished now let me take you up and we will just quickly go through this simulation simulation as what happened let me go to the top and now let me quickly walk you through this output so i just copied all this output and then pasted it into my vs code window so you see this is our vs code so let's try to understand what happened here so first up there is an agent sign up and profile creation for that let me show you a specific example maybe i'll just find it there you go so you see this is where um, an agent named james miller as you can see with this 
has signed up hinting at his interest in hospitality and tourism which would influence his social media actions now throughout the simulations agent create post with varying content uh, now for example let me quickly show you an agent generated post so i'm just going to search it with it there you go so this shows how agent generate and share content based on random or pre-programmed themes as you can see and then uh, let me quickly show you an agent interaction so again i'll just pick a random example here there you go so this is where agent is interacting and then um, this agent 22 is interacting by quoting a post about someone at broadband adding a personal comment once that's done you, agent can uh, like do some sort of post engagement so let me quickly show you that i'm just going to find it i'm doing it in real time so please bear with me let's wait for it to search it so this is what i was talking about as you can see that this agent 21 decides to repost the same post mirroring how users amplify information by sharing within their network and then if you want to see an example of comment comments on the post there you go so this is where agent 4 engages further by commenting on a post about denmark's affiliation with fifa illustrating how users contribute additional perspective or express surprise concerning the information uh, provided and then there are a lot of variety of post contents because on social media that is a beauty that there is every color every flavor you would find so for instance this is one example this adds to the diversity and unpredictability of content on the simulated platform that showcases numerous number of topics users might encounter so this whole detailed log demonstrates agent actions like creating posts quoting commenting and reposting and it highlights how oss replicate social media interactions with agents making decision based on their program personas and the evolving digital environment this allows researchers to observe and analyze aspects of information spread and user engagement within the simulated space and if you really think about it this is a perfect example of scaling laws at play with the help of agentic software and oasis does it quite nicely as i said i will drop the link to it in videos description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching